Hi there, Lou Griggs, Arnold Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. I just want to cover how to scatter these Lego bricks using the Arnold Scatter in combination with the MoGraph Shader Effector. And we can also use fields to animate this effect as well. Okay, so we've got a plane here that we want to scatter our Lego bricks on. So we start off by creating an Arnold Scatter shape. And then on the distribution, we want to drag the plane onto the surface that we just scatter. Set to a maximum of 10,000 points. I'm going to reduce that to a thousand. Change the density point count. So, let's drag the scatter above the plane and let's just drag a couple of bricks onto the scatter to begin with. Okay, let's start off an Arnold IPR render. So by default the Arnold scatter set to sequential where the shapes are instance one after another and in order here. We want to change that. So, I mean, for example, if you change it to a first, we just get the, the first shape, which is this one here. We want to change it to effectors. We're going to be using a MyGraph shader effector to affect the distribution and the position of the shape. Okay, so go to MyGraph effectors shader. So we'll drag this down here. And before we begin, make sure under parameter the modifier clone is set to 100%. We don't want to affect the scale, we want to affect the position of the bricks. So we want to raise them two or three centimeters in the y axis. So we go to the shading of the shader effector. If we add a, something like a gradient, you should notice how the gradient is affecting the distribution of the bricks. So if I was to move the white more this way, we get more of one brick. Move it the other way, we get more of the other brick. Okay, so let's start adding some color. I'll just pick up the shader. So let's replace the gradient with the texture. I'm going to clear this. And just load this colored ink texture that I've uh, got here. So at the moment it's def affecting the distribution, but it's not affecting the color. In order to do that, we need to create a user data RGB shader. So under render, just make sure your node space is set to Arnold. So that we can create uh, an old standard surface shader. Double click on that. And we need to create a user data RGB shader for the color. And then just connect that to the base color of the standard surface. Give it a attribute called display underscore color. And just remember to assign that to the Arnold scatter. So now the bricks are picking up the, the color from the shader effector. Okay, so let's add the rest of the Lego bricks. Just add some more variety to the look of the render. Just drag the, them and make them children of the on scatter. Just drag them onto the on scatter group. Okay, so now we just need to add, increase the scatter amount and so distribution can Increase that to something like 10,000. And for the final renders, I was using, using 50,000 points. Found that if you go too high, string 100,000 points doesn't look quite as nice. They kind of, kind of flatten out. You, don't, you get less interesting formations. Here we're getting a lot of breakup, which is quite nice around here. If you add too many, it just becomes too solid looking. Okay, and then lastly, if we go to the shader effect under fields, we can create a field and experiment with different looks. Okay, so by default it's too big, so I'm just going to scale it down. So we can use uh, fields to determine how the effect is applied. We could remap it as well, so we could invert that effect. Yes, yeah, so just experiment with different fields and shader effectors and uh, have fun. Okay, thanks for watching and bye for now.